do you hope to hear tomorrow? And the second part of my question is, can minds still be changed tomorrow? I think minds can still be changed. I think if Robert Mueller comes out and forcefully tells the American public that the United States was attacked, that there was no hoax, and that we are still under a sustained attack, as Christopher Wray, the FBI director, said just yesterday, then that will become one of the overriding meta-narratives that Donald Trump has been covering up for the last three years. You know, Brian, today is the three-year plus one-day anniversary of when WikiLeaks released all of the Hillary Clinton emails. And I, I don't think it's any um, I don't think it's any coincidence that tomorrow will be, uh, you know, plus one day of that anniversary where he can speak forcefully about section one of this report with full throated voice uh, and not have to worry about the politics of it. I want to play for you an exchange from today. This is Senator Lindsey Graham and FBI Director Ray. We'll talk about it on the other side. Are the Russians still trying to interfere in our election system? The Russians are, are absolutely intent on trying to interfere uh, with our elections through foreign influence. Is it fair to say that everything, everything we've done against Russia has not deterred them enough? All the sanctions, all the talk, they're still at it. Well, my view is until they stop, they haven't been deterred enough. And, and they're still doing it? Yes. So, Malcolm, with that exchange in mind, why has it been so tough for the president, for his loyalists, for those around him uh, to get on board with this? Is it an innate kind of primal fear that the end of the story might mean an illegitimate election? You know, it will, it, Congress is going to determine whether the, the, the story ends properly, whether it's an illegitimate election, and they have the powers to do that. And we haven't really seen uh, any real effort for them to do that. They want to expose the information related to the Mueller report. But as you saw in that sh exchange with Lindsey Graham and Chris Wray, Lindsey Graham has been one of the major facilitators of Donald Trump's meta narrative that this is all a hoax. You know, in Russia, where they study us in great detail at deep scholarly levels in a way that we don't, dis we don't study them, their intelligence community must be laughing at that exchange because they know that Donald Trump has Lindsey Graham in his pocket. And Lindsey Graham has now amplified every message that they want to, dis to, to create this framework in which the FBI is an illegitimate organization. And trust me, within 24 hours, his questioning, which seemed reasonable, uh, which you would expect from a United States senator, will turn into a hysteria supporting Donald Trump and calling all of this a lie. This is where United States national security is fundamentally damaged. No matter what our protectors at the FBI, the National Counterintelligence Division, and the CIA and other organizations organizations do, we have been subverted from within. Malcolm, I've got about a minute left. You were the first person to tell me that even the anti-vaccine effort is being helped along by a Russian campaign on social media, that it's based on the theory that a sick enemy and an enemy fighting strife over social and public health issues is easier to have your way with. Isn't that correct? That's correct. And you know, again, a lot of what we are seeing, and I know it sounds like to some people like this is hyperbole, we are literally watching themes, operations, and activities which were extremely common in the Cold War, which every person in U.S. media and most thinking adults would have read in the paper coming from the Soviet Union and thought, well, that's absolutely ridiculous, or I can believe that they're evil enough to do that. But for some bizarre, strange reason now, one third of the U.S. population's opinion has been co-opted to be in line with that of the Russian Federation, which is just the Soviet Union without communism. Communism, right? So that being said, these same themes, which were created in the 80s, the Soviets created the theme that the AIDS virus was a CIA plot. They do the same thing with 
anti-black, anti-vaccination themes, anti-minority themes, and megaphoning anything which damages American democracy. Incredible stuff, all of it. Malcolm Nance, always a pleasure to have you on. Thank you very much.